So in this video we will learn how to add the timer. Again for adding the timer you have to go to variables and again make a variable which is named as timer. And your timer you can adjust where do you want your timer to appear. Okay. Now be here I want my whenever I click on the game the timer should start with 60 seconds so set timer to 60 right let's uh, take another one don't get it mixed by this with this one go to events and take the when clicked flag and set timer to 60 and then you want it to repeat until the timer is set to 0 now you want your timer to decrease by one, minus 1 so go to variable and change variable to minus 1 first of all take timer is it by minus one so it will decrease only once you have to repeat it until you get zero so you will go to control you will take repeat until block and the position and the condition you will put using operators where you want the timer should be equal to 0 first change this to 0 and timer you will find in variables take it put it over here and now change timer by minus 1 is going to be under this right so now it is changing now you want if the timer is 0 everything should stop and it is changing the timer is also changing too fast so you have to make it wait for one second so take wait one second so that it goes second by second right and then if the time is over the game should stop right so um, you will go to control you will take stop all and let's set the timer to 30 seconds only now my timer is wait, uh, started with the 30 seconds and decreasing and I have to score so I can add this condition if I am able to score 10 within or maybe 5 within 20 seconds I will get my winner screen otherwise my game is going to stop so for that I have to add a backdrop for winner screen choose the backdrop let's take um, which one we can take we can take this one and now we have to that whenever I click on the flag I want my blue sky too right so switch backdrop option is there in looks switch backdrop to blue sky too okay and you want this backdrop only when the score is more than 5 so for that you will go to control take forever block and if then block if score is greater than 5 so you have to take the variable operators and variables both you have to compare the value make it 5 and you will take score if score is greater than 5 then you will switch to backdrop blue sky switch backdrop to blue sky okay 
So let's see. But at this time, I have to get five, but it seems impossible now. So my game has stopped. I was not able to score five. I have to play it again. And I'm able to score more than six. And I'm in the next backdrop. But now I want that everything should stop when I'm switching to the next backdrop. For that, I have to take uh, stop all from control okay then just play this game again if we are able to score more than five you will be in the second backdrop and everything will be stopped and you have to hide these type these sprites over here so let's hide the, all the backdrop except the cat so i just click on each of them and uh, let's go to events I'll take when backdrop which is to blue sky it should hide itself so you have to go to looks and take hide option but you have to show it now when the backdrop switches to blue sky 2 so I just take it here and I have to change this option to blue sky 2 so both of the things I have to keep in buildings, clouds and sun. So just move them one by one. Let's see whether it is copied in building or not. Yes it is. Now I'll move it to clouds as well. It is in cloud 2. Now we will move it to the sun. So with the sun we have this one, I'll just duplicate this and make changes. Blue sky, it has to hide. Similarly, we will do it for tapo. This is done, now let's play the game. One. Take another one. So let's add the code that if I'm able to score more than five, I'm going to switch to the next backdrop. For that, I'll go to events and then I'll take the flag. Then I'll go to control, take the forever loop and it conditions. Then I have to compare, so I'll take operators, comparing operator, I'll put it over here. And if I am able to score more than 5, so my score should be greater than 5, then I'm going to the next backdrop. So, switch backdrop to blue sky. Okay, and when clicked, the backdrop should, uh, should be switched to blue sky too. So just do this as well. So let's see. Okay, so I'll try to score within this time limit. Okay, 
Okay, so I have got my second blue sky and everything has stopped, only the cat is moving. You can simply hide the cat, just like we have uh, done with the buildings and everything. So I'll just copy this code to cat as well. Okay, and then you can type a message in this backdrop. So go to costume and type a message that you have fun. Here's your text tool with which you can type you fun. And then increase the size. This is how you can uh, create a game where you have a timer, you have negative score and positive score. You can create levels also. So keep watching, keep learning, keep sharing and subscribe to share it.